Welcome to this B1 Printer delivery e-learning session where we'll be going into the delivery and error logs. So here we are in business one and the delivery and error logs of the B1 Printer delivery is all about having an audit trail on what was done, when, who did what and so on. And in terms of errors, what was the error messages should you not have a screenshot of the error message by itself. So, if you just want to know about a specific document, you can simply right-click and under Print Delivery, go into the delivery log or the error log. If you don't, if you just want to go to have a high-level overview of everything, you can go to Administration, Add-ons, B1 Usability, Module Configuration, Print Delivery, and here you can also get to the delivery log and the error log. So let's just take it from here and see that this is a sales order I have used for a lot of this e-learning series. So you will see a lot of different activations doing the system. Normally on a specific sales order, you will only see one or two things, but in this case, it's a lot. So what do we see here? First of all, there's a filter at the top. And if you do it from a sales order like this, the filter will automatically hone in on the specific one. While if you take it from here, it is completely open and you can choose among everything. First up, you can choose what type of delivery it was, meaning what document type. And you can see all the different things. In our case, it's sales orders. Uh, if it's a sales order, we can choose a, a number of what is the sales order and or what business partner, so we could get all the business partners sales orders for C60,000, for example. We can also filter by what kind of action was uh, run, and we can order by which user initiated it. In the same manner, we can go in in what time period did it happen, and once we have chosen all this, we can simply say show deliveries. So I could go in and say, I don't want only for that, but I can go in and see for everything this customer has done or everything in total. So 89 times is, uh, sales orders has been done in this system with various different customers. Let's have a look at what you can actually see about this um, in here. So the first half, you can see what action was run, meaning you can go to the report action and see which uh, action it was. You might have changed the report action after the fact, but at least you will know which uh, area it was done on. We have the type, in this case, all sales orders. We have the ID, which is the sales order ID, or the number, what date it happened, what time it happened, uh, the business partner that was involved, and the user, in my case, it's manager who did it all. The remarks field will tell what uh, some context-specific things, like, for example, this was a print action, so it uh, was to the default printer with one copy, while this one was an email action, and it's sent to this specific uh, email, uh, email address with this, uh, this subject and uh, that, that attachment. It will also show which report configuration was used, especially nice if you have multiple of the same. In this case, I have uh, been running multiple things and deleted a lot of things, so I don't have these configurations anymore. Uh, that's just the way it is when you do uh, things like this where I constantly remove and, and add things. But it is possible to, uh, to see them if you don't delete them, of course. Then there's something called an identifier. This is a very neat feature for us, at least in support, to see what triggered this. So for example, you can see there's three here that have the same identifier, just a very odd long string, but it indicates that these three were run in the same configuration, meaning it happens in one click of a button or stuff, while if uh, two have different identifiers, it means that 
it was two different actions from the user, despite it being at the same time, but it was, would, would it be within the same minute. So if there's so, suddenly two things that are the same, uh, the same thing, why did it happen twice? You can always go and check under the identifier, and if it's two different identifiers, it means that two, uh, two actions were done, and that was the reason. You can also see uh, the trigger. Was it the window, the sales order window itself that did it? Was it the mass delivery? Was it the server component that did it? So again, a lot of things about who did it and why. You can see the Windows user, meaning uh, what user was logged into Windows and what machine and IP addresses did this. Uh, so you can figure out exactly which, uh, which machine was it from and, and such things. So you normally don't need this, but once you need it, it's very, very good to track down every single little thing like any audit is. In the same manner, we can go in and see the error log. In my case, I only have a few errors here uh, from different scenarios I tried uh, again in this series. So for example, I had a print error where I actually used a conditional action and it failed to print. Uh, or I could use have a safe uh, report here where it said the network pilot I put in was not found, so of course it couldn't save. So in these cases, error messages actually came up to me, but uh, if I forgot to take a screenshot of it or take a copy of the text, uh, this might be the way for you to figure out exactly what went wrong uh, in the system. So those are the two uh, locks. You don't need to do anything special to uh, to enable them. They are enabled by default. And if you, for some odd reason, want to disable them, it is possible to do. Uh, so it's not in this list, but I can see any reason for you not to just have them on. So with that, thank you for attending. See you in the next one.